it's Ruth again and I am back with another video and of course it's another haul and I'm gonna do my haul a little bit differently this time instead of just holding the item and talking about it and putting a snippet of me trying it on I'm just gonna go straight into me trying it on and talking about it because we ain't got time for longer videos am i right ladies so if you want to see this clothes in action be sure to follow me in my instagram account because that's where i usually post my ootds and stay tuned in this channel because i am sure to vlog our vacation and it's gonna be with a fan bam and you know how it is it's so much fun so yeah i'm gonna start with this dress that i'm wearing this is from Urban Outfitters and um, I got it in a size small. I clearly just had my lunch before filming. So yeah, so I want to talk about this dress. This is my favorite dress that I got or this is my favorite dress from this haul. That's why I chose it for this video because I love the strap. It's so thin. It kind of looks like the Reformation dresses, but this is a lot... My cats are just walking around. This is a lot cheaper. It's like quarter of a price of a Reformation dress. So I love it. It just looks like that. It is quite on the shorter side, so you have to keep note of that. I'm 5'7". And like, this is the dress. This is my butt, and it's just a few inches down. Love also the neckline detail, the straight cut. It's very flattering. Plus, one more thing that I like about this dress is the material that they use. It's really made of good quality material because it's thicker. So it hugs the body really well and like hides the flaps that you might have. Um, rather than like wearing a body contrast that's usually on or made with a thinner material, it doesn't really give you or it doesn't really flatter your body very well. But with this one, it hugs it very well. And it's so cute. You can wear it like casual, dressy, whatever you want it to be. Right now, I'm wearing it with this shoes. I'm gonna share it now also. I got this shoes from... Let me take it out. <laughs> I got this shoes from Shoe Mart. I think it's a Middle East uh, shoe shop. I'm not sure. But it's from the brand called Paprika. It's a great alternative to the Gucci slides that everyone is raving about. So I'm glad I have that. Got another dress from Urban Outfitters. This needs a little bit of ironing, so excuse me for that. But it's a gorgeous dress. I love this. I got it in a size small. And with this one, I just have a little bit of problem with this dress. One is this bit over here. I'm going to show you. Like, it keeps on opening. See? Like, like this. Like, it just won't stay up. I don't know. But I can just put a pin for that one. Yeah, that's number one. And the second thing that I don't like about this dress um, is the material. Like, for the price of this, come on, Urban Outfitters. The material is feeling a little bit cheap. It kind of feels like the same material that Forever 21 uses with most of their dresses. So I would imagine this shrinking a little bit after putting it in the wash. So just keep a note about that one. But other than that, I love this dress. I love the buttons that goes down and also this tie detail on the sleeve. And it's just so so cute and so pretty like I would imagine myself wearing this with like sneakers so girly and then boyish from down so cute I love it next dress that I have on is from Zara it's in the size extra small and it's so cute as a vacation dress it's a midi length and the bottoms just are just up until here so it gives you a little leg action here then you have them slit over here and slit over here or no he, huh here <laughs> so that's a lot of like action for you and i love it it's just like a little conservative but still sexy which i'm always into although you have to keep note that it's a really deep v like it's up until here so the dress is so cute very light very airy and yeah, highly recommend it. 
This is another dress from Zara and I got this in size medium. It's so floral and so colorful, which I'm not usually into color, but when I saw it, I was like, yes, I got to have that dress. So yeah, it's so pretty. It's like summer in a dress. It's so light and airy. And also you can like wear this with like some cute wedges and use it for like a day date or something. Ah, so pretty. So this sexy little romper that I'm wearing is from ASOS. It's actually from the brand Misguided. I got this in a US 6 or a UK 10. It's so pretty. I love the lace detail on this romper and it's a really deep V so you have to keep note of that. You can wear it without a bra or with a bra. In my case, I'm wearing it right now with a nude bra. So it's so pretty. I can see myself wearing this again with some sneakers or some heels. It is made of lace. It doesn't have any give to it so it's really tight and fitted. So be sure to size up. That's why I did. And even though I sized up, it's still a bit tight on this bit right here. But it's such a pretty dress. Like I would wear this with like heels or some stilettos. This gorgeous dress is from Lulu's. Oh my god, this is me in a dress. First time I saw it, I was like, yes, it's so pretty. I love the two colors. Like, they put two different patterns and colors on the dress. It's so boho. It has a lot of, like, material on the skirt. So, it's very flowy and, like, it has a lot of movement over here, as you can see. And the most beautiful part in this dress is actually the back. Ta-da! Isn't that so stunning? Look at the tie detail over there and yeah, it's just so pretty. Also, one of my favorite dresses so far. It's a really deep V. This actually goes down until here, like two inches more lower. I actually had to sew it a little bit, like two inches up because it was too deep. And you can't really wear a bra on this because of the back and everything. So it just keeps those babies more secure. Uh, so I had to sew it over here. But other than that, so, so pretty. And clearly something that I cannot wear in Qatar. <laughs> Actually, all of the dresses I can't wear here in Qatar. But anyway, I love it and I can't wait for our vacation. Now on to this jumpsuit. I got this from Pull and Bear and this is in the size small. I am so into jumpsuits, especially here living in Qatar. It's so warm. So this jumpsuit is still a little bit conservative and still comfortable. I love it. It's just so chic, no fail outfit. So too, I have a lot of jumpsuits, so yeah. You can never have enough jumpsuits. I love it. The material is very comfortable and I love the pant detail because it's like culotte style. So it's not too fitted and very comfortable. And the length is like a midi length for a jumpsuit. It just looks like so and like that. So, so pretty and so chic, as I said. Alright, so we're almost done. I just want to show you this pants and shirt that I'm wearing, which are both from Mango. This shirt is in a size small, and this culotte pants is um, a US 4. So, it's so cute. It's another chic go-to outfit, like a cute smart pants and just a white t-shirt this shirt says minimal and i'm wearing this heels which i also got from mango and this one is very versatile you can never go wrong with a blue or huh did i just say blue it's a brown sandal or tan sandals so yeah another chic go-to outfit of mine
But with this pants, I've actually worn it a lot of times. I've worn it casual with sneakers, and I also wear this at work with my work shoes, those heels. It's so, so pretty and so versatile. Last but not least are these jeans and this shirt. Both are from Pull and Bear, and these jeans I love. Like I have another one from Pull and Bear, and that's pretty much what I always use. And now I got this. It's so cute. It's a mom style vintage jeans, and I got this for sale. Originally, it's like 189 reals, but when I bought it, it's just 115 reals now. So such a great buy and this shirt it just says stay messy and this is in a size small yeah so i love it all right so that's the end of this haul i hope that you guys enjoyed it and let me know which one is your favorite and suggest what kind of videos you would like to see in my channel Alright, so that's it for this haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed and let me know in the comment section down below what you would like to see in this channel next and I'd be happy to do that for you. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again in my next one. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe and have an awesome and beautiful day. Mwah. Thank you.